Let's try this again. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Have you ever heard someone called a show-off? No. Yes. Is that a good thing to be called? No. No. What does it mean? Show off what you have. Okay. How about if you show off, you're calling attention to yourself, right? Like if somebody does good in school and they're bragging about it, or somebody good, is good in sports and they're bragging about it, right? Something they can do really well, right? And I think maybe all of us are kind of guilty of that too, right? I think so. I don't think it's just other people. I think it's us too. So everyone likes to be recognized for doing a good job, but sometimes showing off can be a problem. Showing off can hurt people's feelings, can't it? Can it hurt someone's feelings when you show off sometimes? They think they're better than you are and they let you know. We like the approval of others. It feels good to do well in school, excel in a sport, hear an audience applause when you are doing a music recital, or have someone thank you for helping. These are all good things, but we are reminded by the words of Jesus to do things for the right reason. In the Bible, Jesus uses the example of the Pharisees who knows God's law, but try to impress others with how smart and important they are. He says the Pharisees say, and don't do. Do you guys know what that means? They say, and, but they don't do. They say they're going to do something, but then they don't do it. They do something else, right? Okay. So they're saying the right things, but they don't carry out those good deeds in their actions. So the lesson we can learn from this story is that when we achieve and do good things, we may feel satisfied with the progress we have made, but our goal should not be to impress others with our accomplishments. When we help someone, we should not expect thanks, but rather be thankful that we could help. It is enough to know that we have tried hard to do our best and that we are learning and growing. Being true to ourselves and honoring God, doing things for the right reason, rather than doing or saying things to try to impress others, will help us develop a humble spirit, and the Bible tells us that God values and rewards humble spirit. And Miss Joyce is going to talk about that today. So in God's eyes, we are no more or no less important than others. Okay? Can you guys remember that? Okay. Can we pray? Dear God, help us to avoid the temptation to be show-offs. Let us live humbly in your eyes. Help us to do good things because they're right, not because someone is watching. Amen. Amen. Now I have a bookmark for you guys to try to remember the Bible verse about being humble. Okay. All right, thanks for coming up, guys.